Hear this folks, if you can make your water starts faster and slicker, then every aspect of your windsurfing will improve. Because firstly, you won't be wasting time and energy floundering around in the water, and secondly, you won't be drifting off downwind, which means there'll be fewer walks of shame, and you won't spend the whole session trying to squeak back upwind to where you started from. And above all, if you're not worried about falling in and restarting, you will bear away and really go for the moves that you want to crack. Now what traditionally slows it all down is the rig recovery, so here are two tips and shortcuts to help you get out of traditionally tricky situations. And the first one is where you jibe, trip a rail, drive the clue deep and everything ends up the wrong way round. And the second one follows the classic catapult, where you end up under the sail and the board flips over. Here we go. And first of all, this is not a great way to fall. Do anything you can to land with the sail flat and avoid driving the clue deep into the water. But too late now, the damage is done. Now one option when the clue is facing the back of the board and is slightly upwind is to lift the clue and let the wind flip it over. Now, I'm not so keen on this because quite often, especially with big sails, as it flips over, it sinks. Instead, swim to the front of the board, grab the nose, pull it into wind, and as it rotates, the rig follows it, the mast comes across the wind, wind starts to blow under the rig and start to release it. Then you just have to help it by pulling it up and into wind over your head, and then sheet in, and a little bit of mast with pressure to bear you away, and you're up and out of there. And now for the catapult. And in water starting terms at least, this is a much better fall. When you feel yourself going over, you've got to do your very best to turn it into a forward loop. As you reach the tipping point, if you try and resist the fall, you will lose and will just plummet painfully on the rig. So instead, although it's completely counterintuitive, Pull on the back hand so you keep rotating, then you'll land on your back under the rig, but with the rig flat to the water. One option here is to turn the board over and pull the rig over the back of the board and get going. But look, the mast is already lying across the wind in perfect position for you to release it. So don't waste time, release it by pulling it up into wind as before. Now here is the devilishly clever bit. Pull up on the mast foot, and as the clue comes towards the wind, release the back hand, and as the rig rotates, the foot of the sail flips the board over. And after the worst kind of fall, you're up and riding again in less than 10 seconds. Now, eagle-eyed viewers may have noticed that both those techniques involved you turning round and water starting off in the opposite direction, which is not a problem if you can jibe. And if you can't, I've got a solution for that too. 10 steps to jibing. I do apologize for the commercial plug.